In this video, I'm going to show you how can you transfer this data into your MongoDB using Prisma in your next app. So this is the uh, whole data and this is the data in your MongoDB. So first go to your project directory and then write npm i dependency Prisma. And after that, let's initialize it. For that, write npx Prisma it and it will give us two uh, files first env and second is a folder which is prisma in which we'll get our schema.prisma now here change the postgresql to a mongodb and here we have to paste our database URL. so first go to your mongodb atlas and connect your vs code with that for that click this one and paste this URL here and now I specify a collection here so I'm going to write blocks and here I write your username and password so now if you can see here in our blog JSON we have index author date published category and more so this in this way we are going to write our Prisma schema so so this is our Prisma schema. Uh, first, I have ID which is string, and it will be auto generated, and it will be mapped to the MongoDB ID. And uh, next, we have index author, and all of them will be our string except in index, and all all will have an optional value. And now, after the doing this, go to your terminal and uh, and install this install Prisma client. So npm i I did Prisma client so that we can use Prisma client to uh, query our data and after that go to your app directory page.tsx and remove all these things right there and start your server so npm run dev and let's go here Write localhost 3000 so right now we just want to open this so that we can transfer our data to the MongoDB and then let's close it and go to the browse collection and after doing all that let's run one more command here which is npx prisma generate and it will generate the same schema in our mongodb and next we are going to import our prisma client prisma client from prisma and and then we are going to initialize a new prisma client it equals to new is my client and we also want to have our JSON data so like require and then a part to that file and after that let's make this function as async function so that we don't get an error and after that we are going to write a for loop for const item of json data we'll have try block in which we are going to create our prisma and this should be blocks and inside that we are going to create our data so our data should be in this format here I have mapped index to the item dot index, uh, which I can show which is here capital index, and then author, date published, and all that things. And after that, we are going to console it to write a message which is success. And outside this try, we are going to catch error if any console dot log fail 
and then we are going to write our item as well and then again console.log and to write what it is the error and after doing all these things let's just save it and and you can see in our console we are getting success now let's go to the, our collections refresh the page and here you can see our blog is here and if i open it you can see our data is here right now total 402 documents are here and it is going to take some time so let's me refresh it again and now it is 876 so after exporting all the data uh, it will stop and you will get all the data in your MongoDB. Uh, 